it's quite good at doing this um, reliably. And in fact, because we've never shown an end-to-end -end insertion of a robot in action, uh, we're going to do a live demo of the robot doing surgery in our brain proxy. So who wants to see some insertions? <laughs> so here it is. That's our R1 robot with our patient alpha who is lying comfortably on the patient bed. Uh, this is what we call the targeting view. So what you're seeing is this is a picture of our uh, brain proxy. And the pink represents the cortical surface that we want to insert our electrodes into. And the black represents the vasculature that we want to avoid. And what you're seeing is these hash marks with numbers that represents where we intend to put each of our threads. So should we see some insertions? So this is another view real quick. Uh, on the left is the uh, view of the insertion area. And on the right, uh, what the robot's going to do is it's going to peel the array, uh, the threads, one by one from its silicon backing and insert it into the targets that we uh, predetermined in the targeting view. So there you go. That's the first insertion. So we're going to see a couple more insertions. The whole process of inserting uh, about 64 threads in our first product is going to be around 15 minutes uh, for this robot. So um, yeah, there's a second one that went in, and we're going to do a third one. There you go. And then that's going to go in the background, and we'll come back to it in the later part of the presentation. And as Elon mentioned, we've been working very hard to go from prototype to building product. As part of this, one of the things that we did is to move our device manufacturing to a dedicated facility in Austin for scale-up manufacturing. And what's important to highlight and is evident in this clip is that it's very typical for us to have our engineers who design also work on the physical manufacturing line to build and debug. And this has been extremely, extremely critical in reducing our iteration cycle time. And we've also uh, scaled up our surgery. So we now have a dedicated, our own OR, in fact, a double OR uh, in Austin. And this is just a stepping stone before we um, eventually build our own Neuralink clinic. So with this product, N1 and R1, our initial goal is to help people with paralysis from complete spinal cord injury regain their digital freedom by enabling them to use their devices as good as, if not better, than they could before the injury. And as Elon mentioned, over the last year, this has been the central focus of the company. And we've been working very closely with the FDA to get approval and to launch our first in human clinical trial in the US, hopefully in the six, uh, in next six months. <laughs> 